are you a computer science student or you are doing a course to become a software engineer well in this video i'll talk about five skills that you should learn to get a job as a software engineer the first skill that i will talk about is a core programming language if you're doing a course to become a software engineer then i'm sure you must be learning a language like java or maybe c++ but apart from these two languages i highly recommend that you spend time understanding some other languages like maybe python or maybe php and when you're learning a new programming language don't just learn it to clear your exam or uh, just to get through your course also create some projects using these core languages and when you create a project it will really give you know a very good idea about your skill set about uh, what you can do with these languages to your potential employers and i really recommend that you create projects using at least two of these core programming languages for example if you're learning java then maybe you can uh, you know create a mobile app uh, in android and also try to publish it on the marketplace and uh, you can also create maybe a web based application or maybe some kind of a web based uh, tool that uh, you know you can possibly create using python or maybe php the second skill that i will talk about is a very good understanding of linux operating system and you must be familiar with ubuntu or cent os which are really popular right now in the industry and if you want to become a software engineer you cannot really avoid working on linux because linux is almost everywhere when you deploy any application to a server the server is most likely running a linux os so to learn linux i highly recommend that you either install ubuntu or fedora in your uh, personal laptop and uh, try to work on it as much as you can try to use linux as your main operating system and when you work on linux try to understand the directory structure like uh, in which directory your applications are installed where will you find your own files and it will really give you a very good understanding about uh, uh, the way linux works and by the way i'm not really talking about uh, you know doing a deep dive of uh, linux right now in the very beginning of your career but having a very good understanding of linux is always helpful and you cannot avoid it and by the way try to work on the console because uh, when you work on console you will get a very good comfortable knowledge of uh, 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 working without you know a ui because when you're working in a company or maybe when you're working on uh, any support project you may be required to work on uh, remote uh, servers and you will be doing it through your console or terminal so try to get uh you know yourself familiar with how you can browse your files how you can copy how you can paste and how you can move files from one location to another location also try to learn how to install and uh, remove applications on your linux uh, uh, operating system and uh, also get yourself familiar with the services that you, you can automatically start when the server is rebooted for example whenever the server is rebooted maybe you want to start your web server maybe you want to also start your database server always and uh, it is always good to have a, a very very good knowledge of uh, what services are in uh, linux also try to learn a bit of uh, shell script because it is always good to you know automate your work maybe you know you want to perform some activities uh, maybe uh, every day so you can actually create a shell script and you can run the shell script maybe uh, using a scheduler like uh, cron so uh, you know it is always good to learn uh, at least the uh, basics of uh, shell script and when you're working on linux uh most likely you will be modifying some files maybe a configuration or maybe you're doing some coding or maybe you're you know changing few parameters uh, maybe on a remote server so you should have uh, some knowledge of uh, working on editors like vi nano or maybe emacs and finally you should know what ssh is because when you work on a remote server you will be using ssh to connect to it so these are some of the things that you should probably uh, learn and again i'm 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 not saying you should get 
uh, you know uh, uh, you should become become ex make, become an expert in linux but try to get familiar with the basics as much as you can the third most important skill is database and uh, i'm sure you must be familiar with uh, databases like microsoft sql server maybe oracle or mysql and when you are actually learning to become a software engineer you will be actually creating some uh, applications maybe you will be creating some uh, uh, you know web based interfaces where you will have some uh, you know uh, uh, information stored in a database so you cannot really avoid working on a database uh, in any any software or in any application you will always be working on some sort of database so in the beginning of your career you will probably be working as a programmer or maybe you will be working as a tester you should have at least a basic understanding of how you can fetch your data from any database using using queries and uh, uh, there are a few things which i'll probably talk about and you should probably have a very clear understanding of uh, you know these concepts starting with joins so when you're working on uh, you know fetching some information from uh, from a database with maybe a couple of different tables you should have this knowledge of uh, a concept of joins like like how you can combine multiple tables and uh, and fetch your information and fetch your data from uh, from from different tables in a database you should have a very good understanding of normalization normalization is basically basically the optimization of uh, you know tables and uh, when you're designing your database schema maybe for a new project or a new application you will surely uh, need to do some kind of normalization so try to get yourself familiar with this particular concept and finally you should have uh, uh, a, a skill a basic understanding of how you can import and export uh, data from your mysql or maybe uh, oracle or sql server the fourth most most important skill that i will talk about is a very good knowledge of uh, microsoft excel and i'm sure you must be surprised by seeing this uh, on the list and let me tell you one thing if you're working uh, as a software engineer you cannot avoid working on excel sheet uh, ever you cannot really escape uh, from this particular tool and i can understand that uh, excel is not very exciting application to work on but uh, you cannot really avoid it so again you are not really required to become like a top expert and understand all uh, the features of excel but you should have at least a basic understanding of uh, formulas like how you can uh, you know perform some calculations and how you can uh, you know uh, create some uh, some 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 uh, uh, some some statistics that you can uh, that you can potentially display uh, maybe on a report you should have a very clear understanding of shortcuts because when you're working on excel sheets you may be required to uh, you know scroll down uh, maybe to find uh, uh, maybe something on row number uh, 100 or row number 1000 so you can actually do these things very quickly if you have uh, a very good understanding of uh, of shortcuts uh, key keyboard shortcuts and you should be able to create some uh, some charts like for example uh, you know you need to create maybe like a weekly or maybe monthly report and you want to present it to your uh, managers so you should have this basic understanding of you know creating a pie chart or maybe creating a bar chart uh, in, in excel sheet and finally if you know how to work on pivot table then i think uh, uh, you uh, uh, will be able to uh, do a lot of things uh, when it comes to the reporting so again don't try to spend too much time understanding everything about the tool but you should have uh, this ability to work on excel and uh, manipulate the data and the fourth most important skill uh, is the concept of software development life cycle also known as stlc and whenever you are involved in development of any application or any software you will be following uh, some kind of stlc model and in any company it could be a small company or it could be a very big enterprise they will be following some sort of 
SDLC concepts in the company. So you should have a very basic concepts of uh, you know different phases of SDLC, like how you will probably analyze uh, the requirements and uh, uh, how you can design your solution. Fi finally, you will be able to develop it uh, once you are uh, you know uh, uh, once you are once you have this clear understanding of what need to be developed. And of course, uh, before you deploy it in the market or before you, before you commit your code, you will of course test it. And of course, you will release your software. So you should have a very good understanding of uh, what tools are required at different phases of STLC. So in the beginning, you will most likely be working as a developer or maybe a tester, but you should know what tools are required at different phases of STLC. For example, for designing your database schema, maybe you will be uh, using a tool like Visio, or maybe for performing your uh, testing, you will be using some testing framework. So you are not supposed to know about everything, like what all tools uh, are required and uh, their complete in-depth knowledge, but you should have a very clear understanding of uh, those tools. Uh, and uh, if you have developed some, uh, you know, applications as part of your internship or maybe as part of your uh, uh, your your uh, industrial project, then uh, try to get yourself familiar with uh, these phases. So when the person who is taking your interview, they will probably ask you which one of the phase uh, uh you know of the ST, of the stlc that uh, you know you spent your time for example if you did some testing for a company then they will probably ask you some questions about uh, different types of testing or maybe if you have uh, you know developed your uh, uh, your application though so they will probably ask you some questions around uh, you know different uh, uh, stlc models so so try to get yourself familiar with uh, you know some standard models that are followed in the companies like you know what is a waterfall way of working what is you know an agile way of working so if you have this this knowledge of uh, stlc if you know how uh, how software is developed this will really help you not only in the beginning but when you are in the in the industry for you know five years or maybe seven or eight years and when you are actually progressing further in your career you will probably be focused on uh, you know one of these phases of the stlc maybe you know after you become a manager in in a company you will probably be spending a lot of time doing the analysis and doing the design of uh, of of the application or the software but uh, for each of these phases there are different types of people who are involved and uh, if you have this very clear understanding of STLC, I think it will really give you an edge over other, uh, you know, people who, who will probably, you know, be competing with you for the interview. So thank you very much for giving me your time. And I hope this video was useful. Thank you.